guys welcome back to another episode of love island the game double trouble if you're new here my name is leia and welcome to my channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe 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 sub join the fam become a bestie all that good stuff remember journey to 1k subs we are getting monetized this year so definitely 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 if you have not already please take the time to subscribe Give this video a thumbs up, share this share this video, share this channel, all that good stuff. We are coming up on the last two episodes of Love Island. Also, I just wanted to give a shout out to Marco and Hannah for winning Love Island USA 2023. If you watch the show, then you know who I'm talking about. I was rooting for that couple. I knew that they were going to win and they won. I'm so happy for them. Their love is genuine it looks so it looked like they've been together for a really long time and it's only been maybe about a month or so so yeah i hope they go the long distance i hope they really stick together and yeah we'll see what happens with them too but anyways back to us previously on episode 40 uh we had our final dates so me and toby i know i did not just say that <laughs> me and jamal had a picnic on the beach so we had that date um and yeah it was chill pretty basic you know episode with the dates and then towards the end we got a text talking about getting ready you know for prom and all that so yeah let's just jump straight on into it love island the game double trouble episode 41 let's go all right episode 41 prom night will there be declarations of love on prom night Welcome back to Love Island where the girls have just received the biggest text of the season. Time to go dress shopping for prom night. Come to think of it, I got a text from my bank saying it was time to go dress shopping the other day. Or maybe it said time to do less shopping. Well, I guess we'll never know. My card declined as soon as I got to the till. Let's jump back to it and see what outfits the girls choose and more importantly, what fun they get up to whilst wearing them. As you and the girls arrive at the luxurious dress shop, Amelia runs her hands over all the rails, fizzing with excitement. Ah, how many days do we get to spend here? We have to try everything on. I think we have to be a bit more selective. Do you know what style you're going for, girls? I've known Ozzy long enough to know the sort of thing he'd want me to wear. So I'm going to do the complete opposite, keep him on his twinkle toes. Expect the unexpected. These outfits are about us. I'm going for a maximum effort tonight. I want to feel like I'm in a movie, a real romance. My night with Marsha will be more of a rom-com, but I'm still going to try and look fire. You always do. That shouldn't be much trouble for you. Maybe you guys will hit it off, make it more of a rom-com. What's your plan with your prom outfit, Erica? I'm not sure yet. I'm a little unsure which way to go. Well, you look great in anything. You should just keep an open mind until you see the outfits. You'll know the right one when you see it. Loving the different approaches. Did I tell you guys about the dream I had of Toby? Don't tell me if it's gross. No, nothing like that. We fulfilled all our naughty dreams in the hideaway. I said don't tell me if it's gross. No, I had this dream that he asked me to be his girlfriend. What would you say if he did? And what did you say to him? Yes, of course. You'd be his girlfriend already? No, in the dream I said yes. So what about in real life? Amelia has a little think about it. I'd probably say yes in real life as well, to be honest. This is big news. Very big news. You've got me worried about my declarations now. If Ozzy asks me to be his girlfriend, I think I'd throw my drink over him. But I have a suspicion he's going to ask me to give him a second chance. Well, one more chance would be his 23rd chance, but whatever. You're still open to him, clearly. Can't deny it. 23 reasons why you should tell him it's over. But they're all irrelevant if you still feel ready to give things a go. Don't you think, Erica? Ozzy deserves one more chance. I think Ozzy deserves one more chance, Grace. It's been a turbulent few weeks and he's not been at his best. Now the dust has settled, maybe things will be different. Exactly. I mean, we saw how he turned things around with Marshall. The guy can defo change and mature if given the chance. Well, I can't deny the feeling that we have unfinished business. Business hours are open tonight, Grace. 
See what he has to say for himself. I may just do that. What about Jamal? What do you reckon his declaration will be? Defo and engagement on the cards. What kind of declaration are you hoping for from Jamal? Up to him. Mm, I'm gonna say big and romantic. I want his declaration to be big and romantic, something really special. Jamal is probably writing his most soulful speech as we speak, trying to get it as soppy and lovey-dovey as he can. Well, I hope he gets it right. Who knows what could happen tonight? I have to say it though. I think that Jamal is gonna ask you to be his girlfriend. I genuinely think he'll get down on one knee, just have a feeling. One knee is a step too far, but I do think he'll ask if you wanna move in together. You guys are expecting big moves. Anything less would be disappointing. Well, if we want to ensure big moves, we got to secure big outfits. Ah, let's see what there is. Whoa. Oh my gosh. We all look stunning. I'm never taking this off. In love. Let's help Erica decide what outfit she should wear. What do we think of this, girls? Lost for words. Hold the phone. You have to wear that. Jamal is going to be speechless. Genuinely, that looks incredible. Please tell us you're wearing that, right? I want to see other options, but that dress does look really pretty, though. All right, let's see what we got here. See, they want 40 gems. Oh, my goodness. These outfits are a little too out there. Dang, the only free option is this one. Like, really? Ugh, these are pretty, though. I really don't have no gems, guys. I would have went with this purple dress because it's simple but pretty at the same time. But I honestly have no... Damn, that's messed up. Well, like I said, I'm tight, so we're just going to have to go with this option. It is what it is, guys. It's going to have to make it do. And yeah, <laughs> unfortunately. Damn, I don't want to do this, but I have no... All right, so we're just going to go ahead. I only got a little bit of gems, the 199 options, because, you know, it's the final, it's prom, you know? So I'm going to just go with this. As for shoes, it's not really much that matches, and I don't want to spend anything else. So I might just go with this and call it what it is, you know? So, yeah. Any other gem options? Just not gonna have to be done. Can't believe these are our final outfits in here. I know. Well, you're leaving with a bang. Love this look. In fact, I just realized this would be our last time getting dressed together. Aw, oh, that's such a sad thought. No time for sad thoughts, girls. We've got a prom to get to. Woo, let's smash it, girls. You take one final look at yourself in the mirror before leaving on a cloud of excited anticipation for the night ahead. The garden glows with romantic lights as you and the girls arrive. I'm so excited. Can't wait to see what Tobes is wearing. I think I can see them. Right then, you like eyes with Jamal standing in a line with all the boys at the other end of the garden. He smiles at you charmingly in his stunning prom outfit. I knew you'd look gorgeous tonight, Erica. But this is prettier than my wildest dreams. Thank you. We tried to get her not to show us up. But of course, she came out looking like a goddess, as usual. Always. You look absolutely stunning, Erica. You look stunning yourself. I really like that suit on him. You look stunning too. So, I guess we're matching. Best dressed couple. Best dressed couple goes to me and Toes. Sorry, not sorry. I'm gonna have to overrule. Erica looks sensational. The people have spoken. Are you girls just gonna stand there or are you gonna come say hi? I suppose we could come and say hi. You and the girls make your way over to the boys. Aw, you all look great. Back at ya. Nah, Ozzy looks cute. Flo, you look incredible. Aw, thanks, Marshall. We have to be the best looking finalists ever. Duh, look at us. Let's get this prom party started, guys. Everyone raises their glasses. Can't believe we've all made it this far. Genuinely surreal. To be fair, this has been like an extended weekend holiday for me. You can pack a lot in a few days, though. How about you both pack it into a private room? Suddenly, amidst the chatter, Jamal holds out his hand towards yours. What is it? 
I was wondering if you wanted to slow dance with me. I'd love a dance. That sounds dreamy. You take his hand gently and he swoops his arm around your back as you both glide out into the garden. Aw, so cute. You feel Jamal's muscular shoulders as you press your hand against his back, twirling around slowly under the twinkling garden lights. I'm so grateful to call you my partner. There's no one else I'd rather be with. I mean, let's face it, we're basically day one cuties. Ever since you walked out for that initial coupling, I knew I had to try and win your heart, and I knew I wouldn't be the only one. I want to look in your eyes right now and let you know. I'm the luckiest guy in the world to have gotten here with you. Now we can begin properly exploring things. What shall we explore first? How about our dance moves? He spins you out with one hand before guiding you back towards him with a chuckle. Light on your feet. How about you? You release Jamal with your hand. He does a smooth spin before returning back to your arms. Impressed? Couldn't take my eyes off you. Very impressed. I couldn't take my eyes off you. Natural. So, we've explored each other's dancing a little bit. What else? Jamal nestles up closer to you. Your chin rests on his shoulder as he looks down at your lips dreamily. I can think of something. Kiss him. You both lean towards each other as your lips gently meet. Your arms tighten around his waist and the dancing stops as you stand motionless in the middle of the garden embracing and snogging each other. Slowly you feel his mouth opening as you kiss him harder than before, hungry and passionate. You can feel him smiling through the kiss as he smoothly pulls away and looks at you ravenously. I want you so much. As the dance continues you sway in circles around the garden lost in each other's arms. I wish everything could have been this simple from the beginning. We can make up for lost time. Aw, stop it you guys, so cute. The other couples cheer and whistle you on as you continue dancing around the garden. The moment is interrupted when a text rings out around the garden. That's me. Is it good or bad? It can't be bad, can it? Hold your horses. Let me read it first before we jump to conclusions. Islanders, please get ready for tonight's declaration ceremony. Hashtag heartfelt, hashtag all stations to declarations. It's time. Okay, okay, not bad news, but not great either. Why it's not great? Because me and Nazi haven't decided what to say to each other yet. We need some alone time to discuss. Yeah, me and Toby should go chat too, quickly. Us too, come on Marshall. And then there were two. Shall we go to the swing seat? Get a bit of alone time while we discuss these declarations? Away from prying eyes? After you. You follow Jamal off to the swing seats. You and Jamal recline on the swing seat, gently rocking back and forth. Snuggle up next to Jamal. You wrap your arms around Jamal and snuggle up next to him, warm and cozy under the blanket together. Gently, he presses his brow against yours as you peacefully swing in the air. I'm so glad we've made it here together. Snuggling up on the swing seat, couple goals. Jamal leans back and admires you for a moment. He chuckles to himself. What are you laughing at? I was just thinking of the wild ride we've had in here. Elliot stealing you, the false dumping, you twisting in Casa Amor, me having a couple with Bella to stay safe. I suppose I started believing we'd never get time to be a couple again. So sitting here, a proper couple again, I can't explain how surreal it is. It's nice. Let's face it, it's all because of that big gesture I made for you. That romantic flower arrangement. You think that was a deal maker? Nah, I'm joking. The deal maker is moments like this. Me and you alone just chatting. Jamal looks at you longingly. Sounds like your declaration speech is already half written. Jamal pretends to zip his mouth shut. I've said too much. We should work out what tone we go for in our speeches though. Can I lay my heart on the line out there? Or do you want me to play it a little cooler? I'm gonna say make the speech your own. Don't let me tell you what to say. Make that speech your own. Giving me full reign? Dangerous. You deserve nothing but the best. What about you? Do you know what you're gonna say in your declaration of love? Wait and see. You'll have to wait and see what I came up with. Keeping me on the edge of my seat, right up to the end. This is me we're talking about. Wouldn't change a thing. I was going to ask if there's any questions you want to ask me about our time together in the villa or about how I feel about us in general. I'll be as honest as I can. It might help inform your big declaration and going forward as a couple. What do you say? I don't want to ask a personal question. 
I don't want to ask you any personal questions. You know it all already? I know enough. Let's just enjoy the evening. I'm with you. Jamal sits up and looks around the villa with a flirty smile. What is it? I just realized this is our last moment alone together in the villa. It's going to be the declaration, then straight to the final, and then out of here. He looks around once more before lifting up the blanket playfully. I'm wondering if you want to have a bit of fun one last time in here. Under the blanket where no one will see. Keep it PG. Let's keep it PG tonight. Plenty of time for fun. I just want to enjoy this right now. Jamal looks up at the sky with a warm smile. I have a lot to thank this villa for. The friends, the laughs, and most importantly, meeting you. The journey of a lifetime. The sound of a text pings through the garden. That's me. Islanders, please gather around for the declarations of love. Hashtag love in the air. Hashtag from the heart. You and Jamal straighten yourselves up. It's time. Are you nervous? I think I know what I have to say. I've known it for a long time. You make your way to the declarations together. All the couples are standing with their arms around each other as you and Jamal approach the flower arch. Thought we were going to have to start without you. We had our own little private declarations. One declaration isn't enough. Ten declarations aren't enough for you, hon. Grace looks at Ozzy with a teasing smile. A phone pings. That's me. Amelia, it's time to make your declaration. Amelia takes her place under the flower arch, blushing slightly as she makes eye contact with Toby. She takes a deep breath. I was nervous when I first came into the villa. I was kind of worried I'd end up being in the shadow of my beautiful sister. I mean, just look how stunning she is tonight. Amelia gives you a warming smile as the others clap and whistle at your beautiful outfit. Bombshell after bombshell, I thought I wasn't going to find anyone that liked me for me. Marshall looks to the floor awkwardly. And as I was losing hope, Toby walked through the door. For the first time, I felt like someone had come in just for me. And I felt like his head was bolted onto his shoulders with military grade steel. No chance of a head turn. The others chuckle as Toby nods on proudly. Because aside from being handsome, built like a Greek god, Having exactly the same outlook on life as me, and exactly the same sense of humor, the thing that really sets Toby apart from every other guy I've met in here is that when we're together, he makes me feel like I'm all he wants. And that's a really special feeling. So while it's true we haven't known each other for very long, I've known you long enough to know that you're my man, Toby. Amelia looks searchingly into Toby's eyes. The end, I guess. The others begin clapping their approval as Amelia does a small curtsy. That was lovely. Oh, that was lovely, Amelia. Well done. You join in with the applause. Oh, yeah, that was fab, hon. You two are so cute. Toby receives a text. Toby, it's time to make a declaration. My turn. As Toby approaches the Arch of Flowers, Jamal whispers to you. What do you reckon is on the cards for his declaration? Um, let's say he's going to ask her to go exclusive. I reckon he's going to ask her to go exclusive with him. Really? I just have a feeling. Well, we're about to find out. Don't look away. Toby looks around at the other islanders before fixing his gaze on Amelia. Turns out me and this girl went to the same festival in Argentina a few years ago. We were probably sleeping a few tents away and just never bumped into each other. Well, at least not sober. Yeah, you might be right there. But I mention that because it almost feels like fate has brought us both together. I came in here wanting to get to know everyone, and the second I met Amelia, I decided she was the only girl I came here for. That was never a tough decision or a thought process. I was honestly the only option. It was honestly the only option. Sorry if I've seemed closed off to other people, but I think it's just a reflection of how I feel, and I want to back up those feelings today with a gesture. Toby! Toby takes a step towards Amelia. Because ever since I've met you, I haven't been able to take my eyes off you. And waking up next to you this morning, I felt like I was still dreaming. So I want to ask if you'd be my girlfriend, Amelia. Amelia stares at Toby for a moment, utterly stunned. Yes, yes, yes! Amelia leaps into Toby's arms as they begin passionately snogging in front of the cheering islanders. Did she say yes? I couldn't make it out. Congrats, girl. Jamal turns to you. Neither of us called that one. The first official couple of the season. Well done, guys. Yeah, mega. 
Eventually, Amelia and Toby pull away from their lengthy kiss. Amelia smiles at you lovingly. Give her a thumbs up. You shoot Amelia a supportive thumbs up through the crowd. She smiles and gives you one back. So, so happy. Wouldn't want to follow that one. Suddenly, Grace receives a text. That's mine. Grace, it's time for your declaration of love. You jinx me, Ozzy. Ah, you'll smash it. The Islanders give Grace a supportive applause as she nervously makes her way under the arch of flowers. Okay, hey everyone. What can I say about Ozzy? He's a bronze, floppy-haired, gorgeous specimen of a man. The only thing bigger than his heart is his big, chiseled jaw. The Islanders giggle along with Ozzy and Grace. But let's be honest, I've been on a roller coaster ride with this block. Well, at times, more of a ghost train. Ups and downs, smiles and frowns. Ozzy looks at Grace, nodding along. Sometimes I've not felt like his number one option here. You notice Grace glancing in your direction. And I'm sure I've made him feel the same at times too. For every step forward, we seem to take two cha-cha-chas backwards. The Islanders chuckle along as Grace lets out a smile. And that's the strangest thing about me and Ozzy. Despite all the drama and secrets and mishaps and obstacles, it's always felt like we've gone through it together. Like we were willing to fight for each other. And I came in here to find someone I could be a team with. Looking around, Team Ozzy and Grace are bottom of the league right now. Or should I say, Grazi. And maybe they're about to be no more. I don't know. But here we are still, despite everything. Standing in front of each other, considering... Standing in front of each other, considering giving it another go. Like we have so many times before. And I think that's a testament to the connection we have. So whether we work it out or not, I wouldn't change anything. It's been a journey, and that's what I came in here for. So thanks, Ozzy. The Islanders let out a cheer as Ozzy runs up and gives Grace a big hug. Couldn't have said it better myself. You're gonna have to, hon. You're up next. Yeah, forgot about that. That was a sweet declaration, don't you think, Erica? It was cute. Yeah, that was sweet. Really well said by Grace. So proud of her. Right then, Ozzy gets a text. Text! Ozzy, it's time for your declaration. No pressure. Ozzy confidently positions himself in front of Grace under the flower arch. Thanks for that speech, Grace. It was something else. My pleasure. I want to start by saying I couldn't be ending this process with a kinder person. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Grace, you're the most selfless person I've met in a long time. Thanks, Oz. When I first saw you walking out into the garden on day one, I knew this was going to be a fun summer. You've got curves in all the right places, your eyes are simply magnetic, and you have one of those laughs that makes other people laugh. You've been a constant vibe lifter in the villa, even when you've been feeling down yourself. You're always the first to help someone else up. You're the kind of girl a guy dreams of bringing home to his mom, the kind of girl you're proud to introduce to your mates. Ozzy stops and becomes more intense, and whilst preparing this speech, it dawned on me that taking you home and introducing you to my mates is what I want to do. I want to give my all to you, because you deserve it and I can't imagine losing you. Seriously? Completely serious. And to prove how serious I am, I want to take a step I've never taken before. Grace, would you go exclusive with me? Grace turns to the girls, a gleeful expression on her face. What should I say? Should we go exclusive? Say yes! I think you should say yes. Amelia turns to you and whispers in your ear. This might be an actual opportunity to help her out. Finally, get her to move on and put Ozzy in the bin. You could even throw some shade at Ozzy for how he's acting while you do it. What do you think? Tell Grace to say yes. I don't know why Amelia is even telling me this. Just say yes, Grace. What have you got to lose? Grace turns to Ozzy with a radiant smile. This doesn't mean you want me back. And I'm super serious when I say, last chance. And if I ever feel second best again, you're out in the rain. And give me a kiss. Grace swoops into Ozzy's arms as they share a short but passionate kiss which turns into a close and loving hug. I'm so happy. You should be. Grace holds up Ozzy's hand as they walk back towards the group. Went up ready to friend zone him, came down exclusive. Oops. We've all been there. I've got a text. Flo, it's time to make your declaration. Showtime. Go on, Flo. Flo makes her way to the flower arch. Some really sweet speeches that I won't be able to compete with there. 
Just want to say before you get your hopes up, I will not be asking Marshall to be my boyfriend tonight. What? Sorry to disappoint. I just wanted to clear that up. But seriously, wow, what a block he is. You're as handsome as they come. A ball of energy and positivity. Always looking out for others in your own little ways. And honestly, sounds weird, but you always smell amazing too. I think I speak for everyone when I say you've been an absolute joy in this villa. Not everyone gets what they come in here to find. And I know that's true for you. Marshall slaps Ozzy on the shoulder. Well, I reconnected with Ozzy. Not too bad for a week's holiday. Exactly. You may not have found romance, but you reconnected with your brother. And hopefully found a lifelong friend in me. So thank you for being a mega mate and a real gem. I guess that's more a declaration of friendship than love, but here you go. That was really kind, Flo. Thank you. Anytime, bud. Aw, I love your friendship, guys. Marshall holds up his buzzing phone. Time for me. Marshall stands under the flower art. Flo, ever since you walked in here with Roberto, you've been giving off the same energy. The kind of energy that just makes people want to smile. Aw. Never a true word spoken. You always have different friends for different things in life, and it's no different here in the villa. But when I'm having a bad day and I need a friend to pick me up, it's gotta be Flo. She has a way of looking in your eyes and making it all seem all right. And it doesn't matter where I am in the villa or what I'm in the middle of. When I hear that iconic Flo giggle echoing around, I can't help but smile. So while you may be going home empty-handed in the romance department, you notice Marshall stop losing his train of thought as he glances at you. Well, I guess neither of us won in the romance department. But still, to leave here with a friend like you, that's a win in my book. Aw, that's made me really emotional. Flo gives Marshall a big hug. Thank you, Marshall. Where absolute friendship goes. You are really cute mates. Absolutely, you guys are cuties. Yeah, it's great you're both leaving here with a new best mate. I know, could be worse. Better than leaving empty-handed. Right then, you feel your phone button. I've got a text. Erica, it's time to make your declaration. The one I've been looking forward to. Good luck, Erica. You approach the Arch of Flowers with all eyes on you, ready to make your declaration. I want to just start out by saying, congrats to Amelia and Toby. Congrats to my beautiful sister and Toby. What a lovely couple they are. Thanks, Erica. Anyway, I better get on with my declaration. You lock eyes with Jamal, who peers at you lovingly. Jamal, when I think of you, the first thing that pops into my head is your steaming good looks. You're absolutely steaming good looks. I mean, waking up with that face on the pillow next to you? Yes, please. Back at you. The hair, the eyes, that toned body. Looking at you makes me wish clothes were never invented. And the more time we spend together, the more I realize how compatible we are. Just how compatible we are as a couple, like two peas in a pod. And if we can get to the final of Love Island holding hands, happily smiling at each other like we are now, we can get through anything. This journey is such a test and I think we've passed together. So at the end of this summer full of sun, laughs, romance, and a fair bit of drama, I want to look you in the eye, Jamal, and say, there's no one I'd rather be with. That there's truly no one I'd rather have gotten this far with. And that's the end, I guess. The Islanders let out a roaring round of applause. That was great, thank you. Give Jamal a hug. You step towards Jamal and embrace him in a big hug. As you press your body against his, you hear the others cheering behind you. I meant every word of it. I know you did. You hear Jamal's phone ping. That's me. Jamal, it's time for the final declaration of love. Jamal stands up and positions himself under the flower arch. His eyes focus on you with a piercing intensity. When me and Erica spoke earlier, she told me to make this speech my own. So I'm gonna try and honor that as best as I can. But if it starts getting too cheesy, someone stop me. Don't worry, I will. Last time I did a big gesture for Erica, I ended up picking a few hundred flowers. But I'll save the gardener the pain this time and just stick to the script. Erica is one of those people where after you get to know her, you can't quite remember what your life was like before she came along. Everything just feels better and brighter and more colorful. The morning after the first night we spent together, I walked into the kitchen. And I realized my mouth hurt. That's weird, I thought. Then I realized it was because I'd been smiling from ear to ear. Aw, uh -huh, that's adorable. 
I'm calling it the Erica effect. Finding yourself smiling on a Tuesday morning for no apparent reason? Jamal takes a deep breath. It's true that me and Erica haven't had the easiest of rides in here. If anyone sees Elliot, you can thank him for that. But I don't mind how we ended up here. What's done is done. Getting to the final and beyond with you is honestly all I've ever wanted. From the moment I laid eyes on you, because you're more than just a stunning, hilarious, sexy, down-to-earth girl. You're my future, which is why I want to take this opportunity. Jamal takes a step towards you, his eyes searching yours, to ask if you want to be my girlfriend. Jamal stares at you wide-eyed, awaiting your response. Would you look at that? Jamal has only gone and popped the question. I mean, it's not the question. To be or not to be, that is the question. But will Erica be taking things to the next level with Jamal? Find out next time on Love Island. Alright, so that was Love Island the Game Double Trouble episode 41. So we got to pick our dresses. Um, I did decide to spend like $1.99 on gems because I wanted I didn't want to wear that plain white dress. It just wasn't right. I would have preferred to go with that first option, but I think it was like 29 gems or something. So I just stuck with that purple dress. Um, after that, we seen the guys. They all looked good, especially Jamal. Ozzy looked really good too. Then um, we had little side chats. Then we got ready for our declarations and everybody gave their declarations. Toby and Amelia are now boyfriend and girlfriend. Ozzy and Grace are now exclusive. And then Flo and Marshall are mates. And Jamal decided to pop the question and ask me to be his girlfriend. And we left off with that cliffhanger. Obviously, I'm going to say yes. <laughs> so, yeah. I loved everybody's speeches. I don't like how everybody's speeches is really heartfelt. But yet, when it comes to the MC, they make our speeches really basic and kind of boring. And makes it seem like we don't care as much or didn't put as much thought into the speech. Um, I wish there was a way they could change that and make it just a little bit better or more options. I don't know. So, yeah. That was Love Island the Game, Double Trouble, episode 41. The next episode will be the last. So yeah, I would love to know how you guys enjoyed your journey. Did you enjoy this season way better than the others? Or what? Let me know what your thoughts are on this season. What your thoughts are for the upcoming season. Because we did, if you follow them on Twitter, you would have known that the next season, Stick or Twist, we will be coming in as a Casa Amor girl. So what are your thoughts on that? Are you happy about that? Are you not happy about that? So yeah, comment that down below. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Later.